Welcome to DPD TV. I'm Sergeant Warnicky with the Denver Police Department. In this episode, we're here to talk to you about firework safety since the 4th of July is just around the corner. We're asking you again this holiday season, please do not cross the line. In Denver, it's illegal not only to set off fireworks, but even to possess them. And if we catch you with them, you will be cited. There's some other mishaps that happen involving fireworks that you may not think about often, and it involves our pets. To give you that story today, we went down to the Denver Animal Shelter and spoke to Sergeant Stephen Romero with Denver Animal Control to give you those, that information. Well, we normally and typically find that a lot of dogs, especially, tend to uh, break out of the yards, bite their way out of the fencing in the yards to get away from the sound of the fireworks. So um, you've got to really watch what you're going to do with your animals on the 4th of July mainly what kind of conditions you're taking them to or what kind of conditions you're going to leave them in if you're going to be gone for the day. So typically we'll ask people to make sure the dogs are in a confined space, preferably inside the house, in a contained room where they have their regular bedding so they're familiar with their bedding. Also make sure that your vaccinations and license tags are on your dogs or your ID tags are on your dogs and they are leased when you're out and about because once they get around a lot of people, they may react differently. Well, if, the, if the dog's caught running loose um, by an animal control officer, it's an $80 fine. If a neighbor has possession of the animal, uh, there's no leash law violation. And if there's tags or a microchip on the dog, then we'll try to return it to the owner as soon as possible and not bring it to the shelter. If we can't find the owner, then eventually we'll bring it into the shelter that day. It's a five-day hold on just a stray animal, uh, five working days, excluding Sundays. Once that five days is up, they'll get a health exam, temperament exam, food aggression test. If they pass all that, then they'll go up for adoption. Pets have always been a part of my life, and for most of you, pets are an important part of your life, too. In fact, I want to introduce you to somebody special. Come with me. Except for going to the bathroom in the backyard and eating at the dining room table, our pets are a part of our family. Okay. Can you pass the salt? Remember this 4th of July season, don't take your dogs to the fireworks shows and be sure to keep them out of the hot cars. Also, if fireworks are going off, it's best to have your animals inside in a secluded area where they feel safe. If they're in the backyard, the potential them, for them to escape while the fireworks are going is a lot higher. They can climb the fence, they can dig out, and we don't want that to happen. In the event your pet does escape, make sure now that you have the proper licenses and tags and or microchips so that we can get your animal back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks, Rupert. Above all this holiday season, from the Denver Police Department to you, your children, and all your pets, happy 4th of July.